Hey everyone, we're going to talk about the state of Rhode Island. So let's take a look at the slideshow, some pictures. So this is Saconet River flows from the Atlantic 14 miles into Rhode Island. There it is. Using their long whiskers, river otters are able to locate prey in dark or cloudy water. It's pretty cute. There is their flag. Close this thing out. It's an anchor. It says hope and stars around it. Pretty simple, so it shouldn't be too hard to make. And here we have the symbols. So the state flower is violet, state bird, Rhode Island, red chicken, state tree, red maple, and then there is the state quarter. Fast facts. So nicknamed Ocean State, statehood 1790, 13th state, population as of July 2016 is 1,056,426. Capital is Providence, biggest city is Providence. Abbreviation RI, state bird, Rhode Island red chicken, state flower violet. The first people to live in what's now Rhode Island are thought to have arrived at least 30,000 years ago. Thousands of years later, Native American tribes such as the Narangansett, Wampanoag, and Niantic lived in the area. Italian explorer Giovanni de Verrazzano, Verrazzano excuse me, um, explored the area in 1524. Then in 1636, Roger Williams, a man who'd been banished from the nearby Massachusetts Bay Colony because of his religious beliefs, founded the Rhode Island Colony. The region would become known as a spot where people of many different religions could practice freely. In 1776, Rhode Island became the first colony to declare independence from Great Britain, but it was the last of the original 13 colonies to ratify or sign the U.S. Constitution in order to join the Union. Rhode Island's delegates insisted that the Bill of Rights, which guarantees certain freedoms, be added to the Constitution before they'd sign. Why is it called that? Experts don't agree on the source of Rhode Island's name. One explanation is that explorer Giovanni da Verrazzano compared the land he found to the Greek island of Rhodes, and that inspired colonist Roger Williams to name the colony Rhode Island. Another explanation is that Dutch explorer Adrian Bloch called the land Root Island, meaning Red Island because of the red clay at its shore, and the name later evolved into Rhode Island. Rhode Island is nicknamed the Ocean State, because it has more than 400 miles of coastline. Everyone in the state lives within a half hour drive to the sea. Symbols and the flag again, geography and landforms. So give you an idea. It was over there on the East Coast, not a very big state. Small state in the United States, to be precise. Rhode Island is only about 48 miles long and 37 miles wide. It's bordered by Massachusetts in the north and east the Atlantic Ocean in the south, and Connecticut in the west. It can be divided into two geographical regions. Coastal lowland covers the south and east and includes the islands of Narangansett Bay and Block Island. The region has lagoons and sandy beaches. It becomes forested west of the bay. The state's northwestern corner is the eastern New England upland with lakes, ponds, and hills. It contains Rhode Island's highest point, Jeremoth Hill. Wildlife. During colonial times, many of Rhode Island's mammals were hunted almost to extinction in the state, but some of those animals have made a comeback. Black bears, beavers, and fishers, a type of weasel, have all returned to the land. Other common mammals are minks, raccoons, and river otters. The tiny state is also big on birds, especially along the coastline. Green herons, blue-winged warblers, common eiders, loons, and harlequin ducks are among Rhode Island's many avian residents. Reptiles such as the northern red belly and eastern smooth green snake live here, and the region is home to amphibians like blue-spotted salamanders and northern leopard frogs. Eastern white pine, American hornbeam, black tapilo, and red maple, the state tree, are among Rhode Island's many trees. Wildflowers include bulbous buttercup, black-eyed susan, ox-eye daisy, mountain laurel, and mulline, also known as cowboy toilet paper, so named because of its soft leaves that can come in handy. <laughs> Natural resources. Some people consider Narangansett Bay Rhode Island's most important natural resource thanks to its plentiful fish, fertile soil, and position as a shipping gateway to the Atlantic Ocean. 
fun stuff. The state rock, Cumberlandite, comes from Cumberland, Rhode Island, made of iron and titanium. It's slightly magnetic with a silvery sheen. Actress Viola Davis, actor and songwriter George Michael Cohen, and record-setting mountain climber Annie Smith Peck were all Rhode Island residents. Rhode Island's Narragansett Bay is famous for its clams. Fried clam cakes, clam chowder, steamers, steam clams, and stuffed clams are favorite snacks. Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States, only 1,034 square miles. So there you go, you guys already have the square mileage. Yay, we've got a bird video, and I think it might work this time. The Ocean State is the smallest in the United States, but though it's small in size, Rhode Island is big in history. MC Red, the Rhode Island Red, shows Barry the Bald Eagle all the islands that make up this state, plus the cool New England history from this state on the Atlantic coast. Let's take a watch. Hey yo, I'm DJ Pigeon and I'd like to introduce y'all to our national bird. Make some noise for Barry the Bald Eagle, our state chauffeur! That's right, y'all. What up? What up? You ready to fly with me to the smallest state in the U.S.? We're headed to the ocean state, Rhode Island! Let me introduce you to my good buddy Ted. He's the state bird of Rhode Island, the Rhode Island Red. cock a doodle doo Barry! That doesn't make any sense. I speak chicken, Barry. Come check out our capital, Providence. Our city was founded because we wanted religious freedom by religious thinker Roger Williams. It was here George Washington gave the famous religious freedom proclamation at Toro Synagogue, the oldest Jewish synagogue in the nation. Coast to coast, state to state, gonna tell you about a place and what makes it great. So just fly with me, fly with me, fly with me, come on, don't fly with me. Wow, that's very historical, Ted. What else helps Rhode Island get ahead? Well, we're comprised of 35 islands, and our state flower is the blue violet. And then back in the day, <laughs> we used to have a lot of pirates. There's lots of things that make our state chill. In Pawtucket, Samuel Slater designed the nation's first water-powered cotton mill. cock a doodle -doo. We love sailing, and a lot of America's Cup races have been hosted in Newport, too. We have one of the highest proportions of people of the Catholic faith. And in Newport is home to the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Coast to coast, state to state. Gonna tell you about a place and what makes it great. So just fly with me. Fly with me. Fly with me. Come on, fly with me. Ted, I really like the Rhode Island way. Our state is divided by the Narragansett Bay. We're one of the states that make up New England. And oh, we were the first of the 13 colonies to declare independence from England. And we're the second most densely populated state in the nation. And Block Island, well, that's one of our most popular tourist destinations. Oh, that's great. So come to Rhode Island, the ocean state. Coast to coast, state to state. Gonna tell you about a place and what makes it great. So just fly with me. Fly with me. Fly with me. Come on, fly with me. Coast to coast, state to state, gonna tell you about a place and what makes it great, so just fly with me, fly with me, fly with me, come on, fly with me. Yay, well, I'm glad it worked. All right, so there you have it. A little more um, information on Rhode Island. And this will be helpful if you happen to choose this state to work on for your state report. I will have another video on the 50 state book, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you later.